Hello and welcome back to the channel. Okay, I have a lot to talk to you guys about today. We're doing big things around here. Homemade poke bowls. Let's talk about the fish. You can get fish at your local fish market, you can get it at Whole Foods, but today we were really, really blessed that Tommy from the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, he sent us some really, really nice tuna from Crowd Cow. So there's gonna be a link below that Tommy set up for his channel. If you buy something from Crowd Cow, you get like 25 bucks off. Like Tommy like That's really hooked it up. Wow. Yeah, he did a really good job. And he sent us this awesome, awesome tuna, which is gonna be amazing. So babe's gonna cube that up. We're gonna marinate it. We're gonna show you a little marinade for that. We have rice going in the rice cooker, standard cheap rice cooker. That's easy, but we're gonna turn it into sushi rice. Right. Using rice wine vinegar, sugar, salt. We're gonna do that. Then we're gonna do some edamame, pineapple, Babe's gonna show you how to do some fresh squeezed squoze garlic, mm -hmm. right? Crispy garlic. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna fry off some garlic. So we're gonna have crispy garlic flakes, maybe some spicy mayo using mayonnaise and sriracha, ponzu, soy sauce, sesame oil. What else is gonna be in there? A Sprouts. Lot of stuff. All kinds of stuff. It's gonna be an epic poke bowl with fantastic fish, all kinds of good stuff. Mm -hmm. We make these, we used to make them a lot, then we stopped making them, but now we're back to making them again because they are freaking rad. All right, so that's the battle plan today. It's going to be epic. Homemade poke bowls, easy in the kitchen. Babe's going to whip it up. They're really good. And here we go. Yes. Okay, so Tommy sent us two uh, six ounce pieces of really high quality fish from Crowd Cow. And a trick that my friend Greg taught me years back is when you get them vacuum sealed after you just caught the fish or when you get them shipped to you like we did from Crowd Cow, uh, you take them out of the vacuum seal bag, you wrap them in a paper towel and then put it in a Ziploc bag for a couple of hours and that gets a lot of the bloodline out and stuff like that. So the fish is super good. High quality fish is not gonna have any odor or fragrance whatsoever. And so Babe right now is using a super sharp knife and she's just gonna cube off this fish so that it's in tiny little cubes and then we're gonna put that in a bowl and then we'll add our bunch of different marinade stuff or whatever and then it's gonna be epic. You also need to make sure that you use a glass bowl, don't use a metal bowl when you're doing the fish. Okay? You like it better like that? Um, no, I think it like cooks the fish or something if you put anything with citrus in a metal bowl. Yeah. And we're gonna let it marinate for 20 or 30 minutes in the refrigerator just so that fish kind of soaks in that really, really good flavors of all. So when you cut your fish up, you wanna make sure you do like one quarter or half inch cubes, pretty small, because you don't wanna have big giant bites of fish. Back in the day when you used to wear sunglasses to cut them in? I actually still do, and I was just looking for <laughs> thinking about that. Thinking, am I gonna go quick enough or do I need to grab some? Not too much onion just to add a little bit of flavor and I'm just slicing it up in little circles and we're just gonna drop it in there nothing big our green onions right here we're just gonna cut a few and obviously you just want to go with whatever amount of fish you have you just want to go with that we only have a little bit so we're just doing a little bit that right in there let's uh, make our marinade so I'm just gonna do a tablespoon of um, soy sauce. We'll start with this. Teaspoon of sesame oil. And then the fun stuff. And we're just going to do a tiny amount because we can add extra if we want to. A quarter teaspoon of chili oil. Okay, so once we have our, just our few ingredients in there, we're going to mix it all up. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator for about an hour while I make my other sauces and make my crispy garlic and just let that marinate in. Next up is the spicy mayo. Super simple, only if you like it. This is how they make spicy tuna. You take about a tablespoon, that's probably more like two tablespoons of mayo. And we, ran out, of, you like. we ran out of QP mayo. Whatever kind you like, yeah. QP is what we usually use, but I have really become a fan of this Duke's mayo. It's very light, very nice. Thank you, booger. And you're gonna go about a quarter sriracha. Also, just depending on how spicy you like it. 
So do it to taste. Okay, so I do want to let you know you can always omit any spicy items that you want. So if you don't want spicy mayo, you just don't make the spicy mayo. Um, so we like a spicy ponzu, but you can also do ponzu by itself, which is very good. It's um, citrus flavored. So I take ponzu, it's probably about two tablespoons, and a tiny bit of chili oil, and that's it. There you have your spicy ponzu. All of these sauces go on the final bowl. Okay, here I have about four cloves of garlic that I crushed up in my, what is it called? Xyla? Xylus. My Xylus. Garlic press. Garlic press. Yeah. The greatest press on earth because you don't even need to um, take the garlic apart. You can just stick it in there. You don't have to take the casing off. Okay, so I put my garlic in here. I'm gonna use avocado oil. Use whatever oil you want. And we're basically going to deep fry our garlic and make crispy garlic. This is one of my favorite parts next to the ginger of a poke bowl and the fish. Okay, so we have our oil nice and spicy hot. And I'm just gonna keep it moving until it turns a little bit brown. That garlic is making the house Garlicky? Garlicky. Like you want to make out? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, babe. <laughs> yeah, totally. But on the side here, we have rice and a rice cooker. And that, we didn't even use sushi rice. We used jasmine rice, right, babe? We did. Just because we like jasmine we like rice. That but that's just a personal preference. You yeah. can use whatever rice you want. So now you're getting your paper towel ready. Yes. The garlic goes very quick. That literally was only a couple of minutes. Yeah. To make the whole house smell like it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to set it out here and spread it out. See how it's brown? Normally that would be burnt garlic, but it makes a really good flavor for crispy garlic. I don't know, I really like it. Okay, so our rice is done. I'm going to make the mix to go on it to make the sushi rice. That's gonna be two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar, and I'm just gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you're going to give it a mix until it dissolves. And then we mix. So the rice is very hot, but we actually want it to cool down. Yeah, you don't want to put boiling hot rice with, fish. with cold fish. And then we're going to pour our mixture. That's all married together. Right over the top and mix it up and let this cool down. Next is our English cucumber and you just do really fine slices. I love these cucumbers. And you're going to marinate that, huh babe? And you're only going to marinate it for like literally 10 to 30 minutes just to get a little flavor on those cucumbers because you still want those cucumbers to have a little crunch in your poke bowl. So for what I did, just a few slices here, I'm going to do one teaspoon of ponzu. I think a half a teaspoon of soy sauce because it's very strong. We'll do a teaspoon of sesame oil. We'll mix that up and throw that in the fridge. You can even add, if you want more spice, you can always add chili oil. But right now we have to roll our top tier channel members. Thank you guys so, so much. All of our channel members, we really, really appreciate you. You make this whole little YouTube journey possible. So thank you. Thank, thank, you, you. thank, you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm not joking. These Poke Bowls are epic. Whether you, get the, are. whether you get the fish at like your local Whole Foods or whatever, it has mm -hmm. to be like a sashimi, sushi, sushi grade, grade mm -hmm. so that you can eat it raw. Right. Or you get it, or or you get it online and have it shipped to your house on dry ice. It's almost time to build. It's getting close. Any minute now. Okay, back to the video. First of all, I need to cut to a clip right now, like showing all the ingredients that yeah. you put together, everything like that. It's crazy. Tons of ingredients, but it actually it wasn't that difficult. No, it's really easy. It's just a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of prep. But. But worth it. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. If you've ever been to a poke bowl restaurant, you know that you go down the line and they just have so many different things you can get. So we're doing a quarter of that and it's still a little bit of work, but it's worth it in the end. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start with our sushi rice that you saw us make earlier. 
as much or as little rice as you prefer. Is this bowl for me? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, I'm so excited. But it's still going to have everything on it. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so we'll go with some edamame, some sprouts. So if you can find microgreens, those are even better. So for some reason, the store, the like store for the last like, couple yeah. of weeks, has had like a shortage of microgreens. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. What's that, Ed? Pineapple. Okay, pineapple. Now, pineapple, ginger, and garlic are my three favorite things. Okay. I'm going to put a little ginger in there, babe. All right. You can take it out after we're off camera if you'd prefer. I'll eat it. I like ginger. But it's very I mean, I don't like, like it like it, but oh, yeah. I mean. We'll do our cucumbers. Our marinated cucumbers? Mm-hmm. And then the best part. Oh, I need a healthy amount of fish. <laughs> no onions? Don't skimp on the fish, babe. Tommy sent us that fish. I'm going to grub. Mm-hmm. Okay. How's that? Perfect. I forgot the most important, most beautiful topping, the seeds, right as the camera died. So that worked out perfectly. Okay. So we're back. I did the sauce. I did the spicy mayo okay next we're gonna put a little bit of garlic on here oh the crispy garlic the crispy garlic i like extra of this i just think it's so delicious let's put some seeds on there and then last but not least ooh, that spicy ponzu that you made earlier? spicy ponzu And if you want to put a little bit of soy sauce on there, you're welcome to. I think that there's a lot of soy in the fish, so it's up to you. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. No, I got to get a bite with the tuna, the rice, the whole package. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot going on here. Oh, boys. What are we doing? Oh, it's gonna be so good. Are you ready? Okay. Cheers. Oh, you got ginger in yours too. You do too. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. That crowd cow fish is good. Mm -hmm. Edamame, pineapple, mm -hmm. cucumber, mm -hmm. sprouts, spicy mayo, spicy ponzu. It's very yummy. A little ginger. That garlic mm. is so good. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. That, cri that crispy garlic is good. And that little tiny bit of the raw onion, the sweet uh, white raw onion. Oh, you like that now? It's because it's marinated. It's very good. It is good. Well, babe. That fish is like melt in your mouth. That's another successful poke bowl. You don't guys, be scared to make them. Don't be scared. It's really good. It's not that hard. It's just... It's not that hard. It's just a lot of work. It's just a lot of ingredients. It's yeah. not. It's not that hard though. No, it's super easy. No, yeah. it's very good. I think so too. Wow. Yeah, babe. Yeah. That is. Wow. There's so many other things you can also put in there. Yeah. Avocado. This is just how we like yeah. to do it, but. I mean, hot damn. Pretty good. We'll I'm just. You. I'm just shoveling food in my face like Garfield. Mm -hmm. You know what's good? When I continue to. Shovel. Down my <laughs> All right. We will see you guys on the next one. We appreciate you so much for watching. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.